Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa. Welcome back. I'm so excited this time to bring you a hair tutorial. We're not doing makeup today, but we are going to do some hair. And I want to show you my favorite products. So, what do you think? Mm -hmm. This is the end result. So, let me show you how we do it. So, just keep watching. All right, before we get started, I want to show you my favorite products that I use for my hair. My hair is color treated. Um, I usually get it done maybe every four to five weeks, and my hair is baby fine, like super baby, straight fine hair. I do have hypothyroidism, so that contributes to some of my, you know, thinning hair too. So that's the reason I cut it off. It just wasn't looking healthy, so I decided not to continue to keep it so long. But I have found a shampoo and a conditioner that I truly, truly love by accident. I was in Ulta one day and got a sample of this shampoo, and I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just try it. It says anti-aging, why not? <laughs> I'm aging, so I need the help. I need the help. So this is called Alterna. Can you see it? It may be backwards to you. But it comes in a shampoo, and, a more, and they're both moisturizing anti-aging shampoos uh, and conditioner. And I love it. I tried it, and my hair just... It makes my hair not fly away. It makes it look thicker. It helps protect all the, you know, the chemicals that I put onto my hair. And so it says nourishing dry hair. I don't particularly have dry hair, but my hair loves this. It really does. And you, you know what? You only use like a, a nickel size amount. It doesn't, it doesn't like foam up on your hair. So it's not going to strip your hair of anything. It's like the best stuff ever. I love it, love it, love it. And when I blow my hair dry, my hair feels kind of silky. And oh my gosh, I haven't had silky hair in a long, long time. So I've been using this for quite a while now and I absolutely adore these products. And I'll, I'll link these things below. And my other favorite thing is the Miracle 10. Love this, it's a leave-in uh, conditioner. Oh my gosh, it, it also comes with keratin. So if you have a lot of breakage, Get the one with keratin. This is kind of pricey too. I think it's like 27 for this size bottle. This one is 10 fluid ounces. Um, I got it at Ulta too. Find everything at Ulta. But you spray this on your hair while it's wet. And then you just leave it. It's a leave-in conditioner type spray. It's my favorite. Those, so those are my three to-go-tos right there. The shampoo, the, the conditioner, and then the Miracle 10. I have tried the one with the keratin. It works perfectly as well, but it gives you a little bit more um, strengthening to your hair. Sometimes you can find it and sometimes you can't. So this past time when I went, I couldn't I couldn't find it in this. And ta-da, the best thing on the planet they ever invented was Big Sexy Hairspray. Now, I don't buy the spray and play harder because that is too stiff for my baby fine hair. This one is just spray and play, spray and play. And I love to buy the big jumbo cans because I do a trick with it when I dry my hair, and you'll see that in just a few minutes. You'll go, what is she doing? But it works. If you have baby fine hair, you need to try it. Um, I don't remember where I found out about this trick. I just happened to do it one day, I think. And it works. See the fullness? And you'll go, she's going to use a can to get fullness in her hair. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love how this comes together. So I do love this cut and color. I do um, play around with it a lot to see if I can wear it different ways. And I do curl it as well. So I'll show you a picture at the end of what it looks like curly. Okay, so you can do this. You can do it. Try it. All right, keep watching. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. You're going to need... Um, some tools, you're gonna to need a round. This is just uh, something I got from Wally World. <laughs> Brush, I think it's uh, Conair maybe, I don't know. It doesn't have the name on it right now, I don't see it. Or a goodies, maybe it was a goodies. Um, and then you need a, a comb like this, a wide tooth comb, I love it. And you're gonna need a little pick, okay? So this pick is dirty, don't judge, because I use it every single day, okay? <laughs> I do. So my hair is wet. And she cut my hair pretty much into a bob. But one of my favorite, favorite products um, that I showed you at the beginning, uh, this is the one that I love, love, love. I use it every day. It's really good for baby fine hair. It doesn't weigh it down. Um, it's a leave-in product, like it says. And you can get it with keratin. They have a, two different ones, but this one didn't have that. They are kind of pricey, but 
it lasts a long time. I think I got this one at Ulta and it was like $27 maybe. And then you just spray this on your hair everywhere. I've already sprayed some. And then I just kind of massage it into my scalp like this. And then I take my comb and I comb through my hair to make sure that it's all even, that kind of thing. My hair's so short now, I'm not used to it yet. I'm really not. I'm really, I, I'm so used to it being a little longer, especially in the back, you know? All right, so I'm gonna use this hair dryer. I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and get me a new one because I dropped this one and it cracked. You can see where it cracked, but it still works. So I'm thinking about going today and finding me one. Um, t you can find these at TJ Maxx. There's, and this one was like, what, 60 bucks maybe, $50, $50, something like that. But you do need to make sure that it has a cool setting, has a cool button here. Because for my hair, I need that. I don't need um, total, total heat. So what I'm going to do is show you how to start it, how I start it. And then when I turn the hair dryer on, I'll probably play some music or something so you don't have to listen to the hair dryer. So this is what I do. I comb it. I usually will comb everything over and leave this part. And I always start on this side first. And the best way is to just get going. And I will take this and do it like that. And then here we go. dry all of it in the back it's a lot it's in layers now you can either have your bangs going this way you could change it over and they go this way um sometimes my hair is so baby fine that i will change direction with the part of it but today it looks like it's going to be a good day for parting it this way when you have baby fine hair you never know how it's going to turn out so i want to show you a trick that i do to get fullness you see how kind of flat it is here i like it to be more full um, but when you have baby fine hair, sometimes that just is not possible. So this is a trick that I use with Big Sexy Hairspray. Now I don't use the spray and play harder. I, this is just spray and play, okay? So, and yes, I like the bigger cans because this is how this trick works. So <laughs> I've done this a long time and my hairdresser's like, that's genius. I'm like, yeah, I don't like teasing my hair. I'm, I'm not one to want to tease my hair. So what I do is I pull it up in a section like this and I spray it, and I take the can, and I just hold it there. And, you know, count to about 10 seconds. And then it's going to stay. Look at that. And, you know, sometimes when you put all those different products on your hair just to get it fluffy, this is really key because it's only at the root, and it's not making the rest of your hair, you know, my hair is baby fine, so it's not making the rest of it kind of like flat. So, and then I'll take my brush again, and then we'll hold it, and I'm going to shoot some hot through it like that, and just kind of turn the brush a little bit, and look at that. You see how you get that little instant lift? It's amazing, and then you can do that all the way around. I will do it over here on this side right here. I have a flat spot right here in the back of my head, so I definitely will do it there also. So let's do this side so you can see the difference. Spray it right at the root. Hold it. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> 9, 10. Boop, look at that, girl. We got some lift going on here. So let's and then take this. And then dry it. Dry it just a little bit. And take it out. And see that? Look at that. So that is a trick. If you have baby fine hair, you need to at least try that. I mean, it is, it is the bomb ditty of, I don't know where I learned that or how I figured it out, 
I just remember I love doing that and it gives me the fullness. Now, one other thing you can do if you have baby fine hair and you want the fullness, you can always kind of lean your hair over to the side and spray. Don't move, you just stay there. <laughs> stay there real quick and just kind of place it where you want it. Now I am gonna take, um, see how this is flipping out? I am gonna take a uh, straight flat iron and kind of iron that out and get these parts straight. But this is what I would do to get lift. You've got to have a pick. I've had this pick probably 20 years at least, I think. Yeah, I've had it longer than I had my husband. <laughs> second husband. <laughs> see? Ah, look at that. You see how that does? And you can do the same thing on this side if you want to. Now, I really have to spray back here. I have to do this can back here, right at this area, right in this flat part of my head. Um, but you can also bring down a little lower if you want to. You can do the same thing. Spray it here. Hold it so you can get a little more lift. And it's hot here in Alabama, and it's a very humid uh, place to live. So my hair doesn't like this humidity. So this is what I do to combat that humidity. And you can see it just gives you a nice little lift. And then you can do the same thing on this side. Kind of spray it and lean your head. Let it let it stay like that just for a minute. And it dries and it stays. And then you can just come back and use your fingers to, you know, placement of your bangs, whatever. So let me get, um, let me get my clothes on. <laughs> Cause this is what I wear when I get out of the shower and then we can finish this up. Okay, so my makeup and stuff is done. So now we gotta finish out this hair. I haven't done anything else to my hair. Here's my new baby. That's my new dog. Her name is Sugar. And she's laying here beside me. We got her from the pound hmm, about a week and a half ago. So she's a new baby to us. I still love my boy there though. Gosh, I cry over him pretty much every day. One day I'll think of him and not cry. So if you're a dog lover, you will understand that. <laughs> and I am. So let's do, um, let's finish this out. So we remember we used the hairspray mm -hmm. to fluff it up. Now the hairspray is the key to my whole entire look. It really is. I don't like any other hairspray except for Big Sexy. That's it. That's the only one I've ever used. So you see how this one's going out, which is not a bad thing if you want to wear it like that. But I want to show you how to, I kind of straighten it out. Now, this is a Baby Bliss. Um, I love it. It's T90, you know, for my hair. And I, I have it. It's got different settings on it. But it is a Nano Titanium Baby Bliss. And perfect for your fine, baby fine hair. Perfect for any hair, really. And I just kind of straighten it out just a little bit. You see, I like for it to frame into my face a little bit more. And you can turn, you know, turn it just a little bit and it will start coming in. Now, I only do the ends. I don't do anywhere else with this. I don't need to. I just go around and kind of straighten it. Even in the back, I just run it through the bottom and make sure I kind of turn it just a little bit. Now, if I'm going to work on this top part, which is probably the hardest part for me is my hair never does the same thing twice. <laughs> so sometimes I have to just go with what the bangs do. Uh, baby fine hair, if, if you have baby fine hair, you know what I mean. It's flyaway hair. It goes flat some days. Today's a pretty day. There's not, I mean, there's humidity here, but this is what I will typically do. Take this and fluff it up. It's like that. And you can see that it's in a lot of layers and that's how I get the fullness. But this part right here is always a little thinner for some reason. And so I'll fix that. You must have hairspray. Hairspray, just like that. And I'll fix the back of it off camera, but pretty much it's just in layers. Uh, it's just like this, except I have to make sure there's no gaps in it because my hair is baby fine. And sometimes it will, it will do that. So I'm gonna take these, and guess what we're gonna do? I'm gonna take my head, and we're gonna hold it out and spray it. And just kinda of hold it there for a second, and you can take your fingers and kinda of fluff it out if you want it to be fuller. But that's basically how I get the fullness in my hair, is holding it and fluffing it out. 
Because as soon as I hit that humidity outside, girlfriend, if I don't have this on, oh, Lord, it's going to go straight, like flat to my head. I have a flat spot here. And some of us, you probably do too. You probably have, you know, being born, that's what happens to us. <laughs> I think I must have laid a little bit too long on that one side. So I'm going to fix the back of it because I do want to show you the back of it since I can't see it here and I usually have a mirror to do it behind me. So let me fix that. And then I will come back and I'll just do a turnaround and you can see the whole entire thing. Okay, so this is my finished look. I love this. I absolutely love it. Let me see if I can turn around and show you the back. The back is very layered, so it's hard to deal with the back when you can't see it, right? But I also will post a little picture right here of it being curly. So I do, I can curl this as well. Uh, I love the longer layers. It's really like a little short bob. It's good for baby fine hair, for sure. If you have thicker hair, then it's even going to be better because it's going to be really pretty. You're going to be able to swing that hair, girlfriend. But I have to wear a lot of hairspray, <laughs> so I can't do that. But when I do curl it, I use this Revlon. I believe this is Revlon. Um, yes, it is a Revlon. So it's just something I, I found at Walmart. It, I like it because it has different settings here. And you can either use this as you can wrap it around, which I can't do. I'm not good at that. There goes my dog, sorry. <laughs> I usually just wrap mine in here and then just turn it, okay? And then I release it and it has the perfect little curl. Uh, my hair is so baby fine and in layers, it's really hard to wrap it around. But if you have longer hair, you can do that. Really love this this one. Uh, I love the Baby Bliss though. This this was probably, these things run around about a hundred bucks, but they're worth it. They're worth it. And you can do the beachy waves with this. You could take it and turn it and make the beachy waves too. So that's another good thing that you can do with this hairstyle. I haven't really tried that yet, but I hope you've enjoyed this. I really love bringing you things that you asked for. You wanted to know about my hair, so this is it. This is my new hairstyle. I absolutely love it. I just, I love this eye look too. So if you'd like to have a tutorial on this eye look, I actually did a little cut crease. And so I did it this past week on my Facebook um, VIP groups and uh, I passed it all around and everybody loved it. So I actually did a tutorial on it on my business page there. So look at that gorgeous. These And these are pressed powder eyeshadows that I've used today. So, and it's sinus time here. I have a lot of sinus right now. But thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Every Sunday I'm here, you know, I'm just going to be here one day a week because that's all I have. I work full time and I have a lot going on in my life with my mom lives here and I've got a new dog now. And then I have my side business with Unique and then I have this I love to do. And so I'm very, very, very busy. But my time here with you is special to me. So please like and share and click that notification bell. Let's share it with someone else that you think might uh, find this a value. Uh, us 50 girls and plus or 40 girls and plus, we got to stick together. Yes, we do. <laughs> we need to give each other our tips, our best tips and tricks for how we get through this thing called aging. And that's what I try to do every week is bring you something of value. And, and you ask about my hair. And so this is my new hairstyle. So this is how I style it. My hair is baby fine. It, even if you um, have thicker hair, I think you can pull off this look. It'd probably be even better. You'd have some more swinginess, like I said. All right. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Let me know what you think. <laughs> I will see y'all next Sunday. Y'all have a fabulous week.